Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Let's face it, mobile apps, they're practically glued to our hands these days, right? We use them for everything, from banking and shopping to social media and entertainment. They have become an integral part of our daily lives, making things more convenient and accessible. But with this convenience comes a significant risk. But ever wondered how secure they really are? Have you ever stopped to think about the amount of personal information stored on your phone and how vulnerable it might be to cyber threats? With the increasing number of cyber attacks, it's crucial to understand the security measures in place to protect our data. We're about to dive deep into the world of ethical hacking, exploring five ways you can test mobile app security. Ethical hacking is a practice where security experts known as ethical hackers use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities in systems. It's a proactive approach to cybersecurity, ensuring that potential threats are identified and mitigated before they can be exploited by malicious hackers. Now, before we hit that subscribe button and jump into the nitty gritty, remember everything we discuss here is strictly for educational purposes and ethical hacking only. Our goal is to educate and empower you with the knowledge to protect your digital life. We do not condone or support any form of illegal hacking or cybercrime. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and harmful, so let's keep it legit, folks. It's important to understand the ethical boundaries and legal implications of hacking. Always ensure you have permission before testing any system or application. Respect privacy and data protection laws to avoid any legal consequences. If you're ready to level up your cybersecurity game and learn how to find and fix vulnerabilities like a pro, stick around. We'll be covering various techniques and tools used by ethical hackers to secure mobile apps. Whether you're a developer, a cybersecurity enthusiast, or just someone interested in protecting your personal information, this series is for you. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future cybersecurity goodness from Cyber World YT. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials, expert interviews, and the latest updates in the world of cybersecurity. Together, we can make the digital world a safer place for everyone. All right, let's kick things off with reverse engineering. This is where the magic happens, where we dive deep into the inner workings of software and hardware to uncover their secrets. Think of it like taking apart a gadget to figure out how it ticks, understanding each component and how they interact with each other. Except this time, it's an app. We're not just looking at the surface. We're delving into the code, the very DNA of the application. We're diving headfirst into the code, peeling back the layers to understand how it works. This process can be intricate and time-consuming, but it's incredibly rewarding. Now why would we do this? What drives us to spend hours, sometimes days, dissecting an app? Well, by understanding the app's architecture and logic, we can uncover potential security flaws. These vulnerabilities can be critical, sometimes even life-threatening if left unaddressed. It's like finding a loose screw before the whole thing falls apart. Imagine the consequences if a critical app, like a banking or healthcare app, had a major flaw. But here's the catch ethical reverse engineering is all about responsible disclosure. It's not just about finding flaws, it's about making sure they get fixed. If you discover a vulnerability, you report it to the developers, giving them a chance to fix it before someone with malicious intent exploits it. This is a crucial step in maintaining the integrity of the digital world. Remember folks, with great power comes great responsibility. Our skills can be used for good or ill, and it's up to us to choose the right path. We're the good guys here, using our powers for good. By working together, sharing knowledge, and staying vigilant, we can make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Reverse engineering isn't just a technical skill, it's a mindset. It's about curiosity, persistence, and a relentless drive to understand how things work. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a curious beginner, there's always something new to learn, a new challenge to tackle. And when you finally crack the code, when you uncover that hidden flaw or understand a complex system, the sense of accomplishment is unparalleled. So let's embrace the challenge, stay ethical, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Together we can unmask the matrix and make the digital world a better place. All right, time to bring out the big guns. Penetration testing tools like our trusty friend Metasploit are the heavy hitters in our ethical hacking arsenal. Think of Metasploit as a digital battering ram, 
We use it to simulate real-world attacks, poking and prodding the app's defenses to see if it holds up. Now, before you go full-on hacker mode, remember, we're not trying to break things permanently. We're identifying weaknesses so we can fortify them. Ethical penetration testing is about responsible disclosure. We find the vulnerabilities, report them to the developers, and help make the app more secure. Okay, time to get a little sneaky. Code injection is like slipping a secret message into a bottle and tossing it into the sea of an app's code. Essentially, we're injecting our own code into the app's execution flow. Now, this can be used for good or evil. In the wrong hands, code injection can be used to steal data, take control of the app, or even crash it entirely. But we're the good guys, remember? We use code injection ethically to test the app's resilience against these kinds of attacks. Time to put on our detective hats and follow the digital breadcrumbs. Network traffic analysis is all about eavesdropping on the conversations happening between the app and the outside world. We're talking about intercepting and analyzing the data packets being sent and received. This can reveal a lot about the app's security posture. Are sensitive credentials being transmitted in plain text? Are there any suspicious connections being made? These are the kinds of questions we're looking to answer. But remember, ethical network traffic analysis requires proper authorization. We're not talking about snooping on unsuspecting users. All right, time to put on our social engineer hats. This one's less about technical wizardry and more about understanding human psychology. Social engineering is all about manipulating people into giving up information or access they shouldn't. Think phishing emails, pretext calls, or even something as simple as shoulder surfing. It's about exploiting trust and human error. Now, in the wrong hands, social engineering can be incredibly dangerous. But we can use it ethically to raise awareness about these types of attacks and help people protect themselves. So there you have it, folks. Five ways to hack mobile apps ethically. We hope you found this video both informative and engaging. Ethical hacking is a crucial skill in today's digital age, and by mastering these techniques, you can contribute to a safer online environment. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, there's always something new to learn in the ever-evolving field of cybersecurity. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these techniques, you can help make the digital world a safer place. It's not just about protecting your own data, but also about safeguarding the information of others. Cybersecurity is a collective effort, and every bit of knowledge you gain can make a significant difference. So keep learning, stay curious, and never stop exploring the fascinating world of ethical hacking. If you're hungry for more cybersecurity goodness, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos from Cyber World YT. We regularly upload content that covers a wide range of topics, from the latest cybersecurity trends to in-depth tutorials and expert interviews. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about making the internet a safer place for everyone. And as always, thanks for watching. Your support means the world to us, and we couldn't do this without you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. The more people we can reach, the greater impact we can have in promoting ethical hacking and cybersecurity awareness. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and what other cybersecurity topics you'd like me to cover. Your feedback is invaluable and helps us create content that is both relevant and useful to you. Whether you have questions, suggestions, or just want to share your thoughts, we love hearing from our viewers. So don't be shy. Drop a comment below and join the conversation. Stay safe. Stay ethical and keep on hacking. Remember, the world of cybersecurity is vast and full of opportunities. By staying committed to ethical practices, you can make a positive impact and help build a more secure digital future. Until next time, happy hacking.